Well, it's the day everyone has been waiting anxiously for. Since the day Roshane Barnett confessed to the gruesome crime, the family of 31-year-old Kamisha Wright and her four children can now breathe a sigh of relief. However, there are mixed reactions among family members. Gwendolyn McKnight, who is the mother and grandmother of the deceased, believes the convict got the sentencing he deserves. My daughter taking me in, feeding, clothing was so good to him. And that this is the treatment that he gave my daughter. So he has to pay for it. He has to pay for it. So, just so he learned by his mistake now. Yeah. When somebody is good to you, don't try to stab them in the back. Right now, you should get at least 200. Although it's 25 is life, 125. You feel satisfied, although the 125 can bring back the life still. But 61 years and 8 months, he's 23 years old. He won't be out until he's 84 years old. We can live with that. An emotional moment as news of Thursday's sentencing spread. For members of the deceased victim's family, the healing process now begins. Outside the courthouse, a large banner bearing the images of Kamisha Wright and her four children. Memories of family are now left with. I just want to thank everyone for everything they have done for me and my family. And God blessings and mercy to continue to guide me and protect me along life's journey. During last month's sentencing hearing, Director of Public Prosecutions Paula Llewellyn sought to have Barnett remain behind bars for a minimum of 60 years before being eligible for parole. Fast forward to Thursday, Mrs. Llewellyn says her office is pleased with the outcome. I believe the judge was spot on in how he dealt with it. He properly considered the aggravating factors, the mitigating factors. I thought that was the correct start point according to law and he answered the call of history when he recognized as we did that there was no legal precedent for a case of this nature and especially at a time in Jamaica where you have several multiple murders being committed at the same time in the same space in Jamaica land we love. It is a it is a great call by the judiciary. Meanwhile, family friend Claude Sinclair is calling on the courts to revisit its stance on the death penalty. We know it cannot bring back life, but we hope that it will act as a deterrent because 1,200 murders since the beginning of the year is a whole lot of people lying there dead. We need something to be done to stir, to stem the crime and the violence that is happening in Jamaica. Reporting from the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston, I'm Sandy Williams for TVJ News. Now, members of the Cocoa Peace community in Clarendon also reacted to Thursday's decision. And they were displeased for the most part. Our reporter Dwayne Anderson was in the community and he filed this report. A handful of Cocoa Peace residents who gathered at this grocery shop in the community did their chores while they listened as the presiding judge handed down the sentence on Rashid Barnett. I'm going to just refer in part into the Jamaica sentencing guidelines which are important for us to note at this time. The people were not satisfied with the 61 years, 8 month sentence. 61 years and get, well, right now, could I say, then could I give me 100, you know? Mm -hmm. I just would make him feel how we are still, you know. And you heard today that he got 61 years? Only? Only 61? The thought that Barnett could be a free man, albeit an old man in the very distant future, doesn't sit well with them. I would give him 150 years. He shouldn't be seen no more light again. Yes. And you feel with 60 years he may come back around? Yes, well, because he's pretty young. Yes, he's 23 years. And when you add that, he's just 18. Yes, so he might come back. My sister follow me. And right now, I'm disappointed. I'm not lie. The youth there, my cousin. But I don't look for that for him. I look for him as a, a youth where I protect them and then something there. Right now, I'm disappointed. I'm not lying. Right now, you're going to get. Right now, I'm not pleased to see you. For that amount of me, you're saying it. I'm still not pleased at that. Because a few more years, I'm going to see you again. 
Who tells where more do again? Nobody know where more do. Them just smart enough for their side. No fear. That no fear to me. This is where Kamisha Wright and her four children lived up to the time of their deaths. Now for relatives and friends here in Coca Peace, the 61 years Russian Barnett will spend behind bars before he is eligible for parole is simply not sufficient. And for that reason, that chapter is not sufficiently closed. Right now, come like I'm gonna feel good. Right now, come like I'm still come like it's a dream, my dream. I got me now wake. One of my pinch me right now for me wake up. Uh, this come like show me a watch. Months on after the grisly killings, pictures of the victims and pieces of black cloth still hang in parts of the community, serving as constant reminders of the ordeal. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.